All right, I'm trying this again. I had some kind of weird message and when I answered the message or did something, the whole camera flipped around and I didn't know how to flip it back. So um, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator um, from Stamping Journey, talking on Tuesday at two. So today we're featuring the Elephant Parade bundle which the elephants are so sweet. I, um, if you were on before, when we were in Thailand, we got to, hello, Susan. When we were in Thailand, I went to an elephant sanctuary. Love everything elephant. So when I saw this in the annual catalog on page 48, I was like, okay, I need to have that. Super cute, love elephants. So I'm gonna turn the camera on. This is the first card I've made with it. So I have it ready to do in class but I wanna show you all the kind of color combinations and the products that, um, I love that Stampin' Up! has so many different products. So I use DSP from two different um, um, selections, um, Ring of Love and the T Boutique, and they, they go beautifully together in this card, I think, I think. Well, let's see what you think. I'm gonna turn the camera around and we will get started. Here we go. So, here we go. Ta-da! My light burnt out, and so I guess, I don't know, I think it's, it looks the same when I'm looking at it here, y'all, but we'll see. Okay, so here's our cute little card. Here's the Elephant Parade. It has um, die cuts and that go with it, which I just love. Um, one of the things, I here's the other ones, because I'm using all of these on the card, but what I love is that when they have die cuts and it's little tiny things, they have doubles. So they have doubles of the little bows, doubles of the grass, doubles of the peanuts. This one cuts out three peanuts, double of the butterflies. So that just makes it easier when you're doing, you know, you generally do multiples of some of those things. So this is the cute little set. Love it, love it, love it. And happened to get a card today from my upline using the same set. So when I'm done, I'll show you the card that I that she sent me today. But this is our card. So this, I love this plaid. And that is from the Rings of Love DSP that you can get free with a celebration, $50 celebration item. And then this um, Poppy Parade print and this little gingham print are both from the T Boutique, but they go so nicely. I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see there's a little pattern on this one too. It goes so nicely together. I mean, all the colors just sort of blend and it's kind of cool. So this is our cute little card that we're gonna to do today. When you come to class, you get a packet like this. Everything is in here cut and ready to go. There we go, ta-da. So I am just gonna get started making the card. So I have all these other little pieces, and um, what I like to do is kind of get my, the ones that are going to layer up, kind of get them set aside and put together. This is the one that's going to stamp all my little critters that are going to get cut out. And so this, all these pieces here are just going to glue right onto um, this cardstock. So it's Petal Pink cardstock is what I used on here. Hopefully I have enough glue in here. So I started with this as the background. I love this plaid. I mean, I love both sides, but I just, I, I like plaid. And I like the combination of colors. I just think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna just put this on here as a nice kind of background grid. Then this one is from T Boutique. And I made a couple of cards um, for my monkey cut kits to go out. And I had these strips left over, which were exactly the right size that I needed for this card. So totally fun. And what I'm doing, I put it over here and I'm just kind of leaving the same um, margin here on both sides. Okay, quick, kind of close, okay. Uh, except that let me just move this just a smidgen because it looks like it's I want to keep it straight on both sides there we go okay come on Cheryl see I came rushing in here and I <laughs> there we go okay and then this is from the T Boutique also but I love this soft gingham here we go and that's gonna go right down here and that's gonna go edge to edge. 
just like that. So about the same kind of back and forth here as far as little spots left over, right? Background. And then my big circle from, of course, the stylish dies, which I use on almost every single card. I need to get another set of those. Okay, just like that. There we go. I might go up a little bit. I like the green glue because it lets me wiggle around a little bit. Okay, so that's all done. Now we're going to do some stamping. So my all my little items I'm coloring in with blends. Go on in, Malaya. So I'm going to stamp them with my memento. So here we go. If I can open it. Here we go. Okay. So here's my little critters. So first I'm going to start with my cute little elephant. So just ink that up good. I'm going to put him in the corner. I love that there's dies for all of this, so you can't go wrong. And then I'm going to do this little, these leaves I think are kind of cool. I'm going to go this way because it fits better in here. There we go. And I'm going to put one up here. Ta-da. I might have put that a little too close. We'll see. And then I need my balloon. To uh, What I'm saying is a little too close to have my, um, my dies next to each other. We'll see when I put it on the cotton emboss machine. Ta-da. And then I did two butterflies. I left uh, lots of extra paper here just in case people wanted to make more of something more uh, the leaves or something so there we go now I'm going to color them in so for my elephant I used um, the combo of a uh, gray granite so I go around with my dark and I'm just kind of putting in the dark where uh, Stampin' Up has already let us know, you know, like I, I'm kind of going under the belly where there would be shadowing is what I'm doing here a little bit. And then I also did his little tail in that. So behind his ear a little bit here, just down on the legs. I just colored them in here and there just a little bit just to add a little extra shading. And then I went with the light, and I'm just going to kind of blend in those edges with going in a circle here, just to blend that in a little bit. So it'll be lighter there. I'm going to leave the ear because I uh, I love the what I usually do for the inside of the ears where you want it to be pink. I use light flirty flamingo. After I did it, I probably should have used um, the um, pink that I used in here, but the petal pink, but but I like the brightness of the flirty flamingo, so that's what I did use. So there's my little guy. Oops, I gotta go around here, around the outside of his ear too. There we go, ta-da. And then with my flirty flamingo, I use the light flirty flamingo. I'm going to color in his little ear and give him a little cheek. And it, see, I mean, even though this is light going over the dark gray, you can do that. It works perfect. And then I used my mint macaroon. Is that what this is? Yeah. So my mint macaroon. So with my dark... I went just through the veining of these leaves, just kind of roughed it in a little bit at the bottom and on the edges. There we go, really fast. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. There we go. I'm going to do it on both, and then I'll go back with the light mint macaroon and blend in, blend it all in. I'm going fast here. You can take your time. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I go back with the light. And I'm just, again, I like to go in circles. And I think when you go over the dark, over what you, you know, you just put in for shadowing. And, and it just kind of blends it together nicely. 
So you still have that line and it makes it look like you, more 3D, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I have to find my words today. I've been working alone for a couple of days. <laughs> so I had to pick up Travis. So I had somebody to talk to today because otherwise I'm down here by myself and I was like, I need, I need to talk to somebody. <laughs> So, okay, and then my balloon, because I was using Poppy Parade, I used the Poppy Parade on my balloon. So I'm going with the light Poppy Parade just around the whole thing, and then I'll do a little accent with the dark. There we go. Ta-da. And then a little bit of my dark Poppy Parade here where it has a, already has a line. So there we go. Now my little butterflies here. They're so tiny. I did go with the flirty flamingo for the little dots here on my butterfly. So this is super tiny. I used the dark mint macaroon for the body. And maybe it shouldn't be, but that this is a make-believe butterfly. <laughs> and then the dark poppy parade around the lines here. So I'm just going really, trying to get around the lines and not color over at all. It goes pretty delicate with the, um, the pointy end of our brush here, of our blends, even though this is so tiny. I just wanted my butterflies to kind of stand out a little bit. So there we go, ta-da. So let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. Now I do have, and I said I wouldn't do this, but I do have our magnetic plate on here, which I wish, I wish, wish, wish it was working. I have not had a problem with mine. Um, I know some people had had it, it was coming apart, but I have not had a problem with mine at all. So I've been um, really lucky. Okay. So here's my little cutouts. Oh, here, I forgot to do this. His toenails. I forgot to color his toenails. I color the toenails in pink. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da. Just a little touch. Okay. So here's our cute little elephant. And the balloon. Oops, come back here. Okay, so here's our balloon, and it's kind of a little tip when you put this balloon around, there's a, a hole on this end. Just make sure that your string, you can see the string there. I was so happy they have two butterflies. So I can put both my little butterfly dies on here. There we go. Here's my other one, my other little guy. Yeah, I literally just ran in. I had to stop at two different banks and stop at the post office, stop and pick up lunch for Trav, and then we just sat and talked. Ta-da. It's something about having your kid trapped in a car so he has to talk to you. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's cut these out, and then the other one I have to cut out is the, there's not two for those big leaves, two dies, so that one I have to make another pass for. So here are all these. I'm just going to pull these off, put my little pieces back on my strip there. Okay, where's my poker? Here it is. Let's get all of our little pieces over here. Paper dolls again. But look at how cute they are. I At first, I didn't put the butterflies on. So much cuter with them on. Just that little tiny, tiny accent can make a big difference. I mean, I didn't use any rhinestones or any bows, which I normally have all that kind of stuff on too. But I thought it was enough with just the cute little butterflies adding in. And then all the different textures that you get. And I'll show you. I did. Um, there we go. Move this out of the way. Just that little extra touch I thought made it look cute. So, okay, there we go. There we go, put that there. Let's get this out of the way. Straighten up here, there we, okay. 
So now, so now I have all my little pieces cut out and here's my um, base for them to go on. So I took my little leaves here and I was like, this is where he's standing. That was my, my thing, was I was just kind of building a little um, valley here. And then my little elephant's gonna stand here. I'm gonna double these up just a little, kind of put them at an, uh, following that circle. Let's see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them down. So I was sort of following the circle. I wanted to, my first thought was that I was going to put the verse on the white circle. And then it just wasn't, it just didn't fit. So I decided not to do that. So I decided that it would be on a separate piece and just kind of another little piece in there. So I didn't like it. There we go. So here's my little guy. And then I did put him up on dimensionals, my elephant. So put some dimensionals on here, make him stay in place for me. There. So some of the pieces go up, some of them go down, right? I, I wanted the elephant up, the little balloon is gonna be like underneath. So that's gonna get glued straight down to the card front. I have all my pieces out of here okay so here's my cute little guy there and then my balloon I'm gonna glue down so let's put a little glue here come on maybe maybe not a little glue here there we go on the end and then I can sneak that right underneath like he's holding it with his trunk there and because I did that this is the dark poppy and I did that with the light poppy it still shows up good and then here's my little verse so let's knock on wood and hope that I can get this on here straight I use the mint macaroon and here we go where's my little what a happy day what a happy day I'm actually going to put it on here I'm not going to glue it down yet, but I'm going to, it's easier for me to look at it and see if I'm getting it kind of centered. This one is in uh, red rubber, so it's not the photopolymer. So I want to make sure that I have it kind of straight and hopefully I can get it in here good. Please be right. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I'm going to turn it around. I'll take the better of the two. Here we go. I did, uh, for class, I did do some extras. Let me just line that up. Let's see. I did do uh, extra white pieces. Sometimes I put that in the box just so people don't have to stress like, oh no, no, no. It's easier just to have them done ahead of time. If they don't use them, that's fine too. But if you need it, it's nice to have it on there ahead of time. Maybe I need to move this down just a little. So I have to use my pickup tool to get underneath the sticker. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I have it straighter. No. I have to move it down just a little like this. Okay, we're taking it. <laughs> we're taking the second one. Okay. So, which one was better? This one is straight, it's just over farther. No, I guess it's, they're fine. I guess they're okay, they weren't so bad. It's hard for me when I'm not looking right over the top sometimes. I think, uh-oh, there we go. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Put another dimensional, some more dimensionals on here for my verse. And then we'll have the front of the card all done super fast but it's the colors it's the print and the colors I just think it was so fun so this is how I had it the first time just had it playing like this ta-da all right and then I added in the, these cute little butterflies because it just added a little extra oomph so they are just the right size for our little mini 
dimensionals. So these were some out of a paper pumpkin kit that I had. Um, but you can, the mini dimensionals are just the perfect size for this. So here's my little, you put one up here. Ta-da, bump them up. And then I put one down here. Ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da. Now, it really comes alive when you put it on the background. It makes such a difference what what color you use for a background. But I, I liked the mint macaroon. I thought that added a lot to it. So here we go. Little glue. I have my card stock cut a little bit different for the base, so it's cut 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. There we go. Isn't he sweet? Just so cute. Okay, so let's do the inside. So for the inside of the card, again, I use the mint macaroon. Now I used, um, and Poppy Parade. So um, for the inside verse, I wanted it a birthday card and this didn't have a birthday. So I used, um, the Biggest Wish, which was from our other catalog, but has continued over into the new catalog. Hooray! So I was really thrilled about that. So here we go. So I had the Happy. I used the Big Thick Happy in the Mint Macaron. And then I used Poppy Parade for the birthday. So happy birthday. Here we go. All right, I just kind of centered this up here. Ta-da. But I wanted to, it needed a little elephant on here too. So, and there's so there's three different cute elephants. So I put this little guy in there, the guy that's sitting down. So let's use my, just to add a little something, something. Here we go. So my cute little guy sitting in the corner here. And it doesn't take long to color him in. Again, I use the gray granite. You could use smoky slate. I, the gray granite, I just wanted to do something different. Here's the dark. So I'm gonna just color in, put some lines in here where all our lines are. Where you see the little lines from Stampin' Up. I'm gonna go under his chin a little bit around the back, a little here, under his trunk. There we go, just a couple little lines here and there just to add a little more definition to them. And then I'll go with the light delicately over the trunk. Yeah, we, we saw, we went to, when we were in Paquette, we went to the Elephant Sanctuary and it was, it was so awesome. I just, I loved it. And now um, I still get, um, I'm friends with them on Facebook, of course. And so um, it has changed a great deal since we were there. Cause it, I think it's been five years or something since we were there and they have gotten much, much bigger. They have a, a raised walkway and everything. We walked like just on a path, like where the elephants went. <laughs> so it's a lot, a lot different, which is a good thing. Uh, they do a lot of good work there. So there we go. I got his tail. Now we use the flirty flamingo and I just gave him some pink inside his ears here. Ta-da. And then little cheeks. Just a little for his cheeks and his little toenails here. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. There. And let's glue this down. Super fast. I was working on some other ones um, that were requested. Some of the uh, stamp sets came in. I'm I have class tomorrow, so I'm desperately working on getting, is that straight, kind of? Desperately working on getting uh, 
more cards done for my class tomorrow. Plus, we have open house coming up on Saturday. So um, this afternoon, I plan on working on um, some Christmas items and getting some other samples ready for the open house. But I wanted to have at least... We have usually between 20 and 30 different cards that they can choose from when you come to class here. So I have 20 now. But, so there we go. Ta-da! There's our cute little card. So, so sweet. I love this stamp set. I think he's so adorable. I'm going to close these up. And then I just happened to get a card from my upline, from Sarah, today. And she used, ta-da, here's her little card which was really cute, so I wanted to show you something up close here on hers, is that she took cardstock and put it over um, our window sheets and then cut that out. So you can see the sh shimmer there, so that's why. And then use the embossing folder right across the front, which is really cute. Ta-da, ta-da. So there we go. So now you have two cute little elephant cards, different ways, different coloring, uh, but they're both just adorable. I really love this set. So there we go. The other card um, I had, somebody had requested, Car um, Carol, I think, did, the Soft seedling. So I just got this in. I did do two quick cards, and I'll just show you those here um, with that. This was the first card I did with it. So this leaf I cut out and put on top, So it, and then I used the brushed um, metallic dots on here. So I used Crush Curry with a dauber in the center of the stamp set, in the center here of the stamp, and then I used um, Pumpkin Pie around the edges. And so everything was colored in with daubers. I used um, Old Olive for the, the stem and the little flyaways here. And the words are in um, Mary Merlot. So there we go. And this is a second stamping. So after I stamped this one, you can see how much darker. I huffed it again and just stamped inside. So I had a lighter um, stamp. So, And then this one I did with just strictly Cajun Craze, which is a great my great go-to fall color. But so just random stamping on... Um, on the card so lots of fun and these cute little dies are from the potted succulents for the for the verse here so soft seedlings so we'll see these at the open house and probably in a class but then i just want to show you it looks so much cuter to have like just one leaf popped up just a little bit give it a little more texture hello cindy yeah this set this set soft seedlings super cool very fast, lovely, beautiful fall cards and elephant parade you cannot go wrong with. So here's the cards for today. So much fun. So here's mine. And I'll let you take a peek at Sarah's. So this is not mine. This one, this is one that Sarah did for me. But I just thought how ironic I was going to do the elephant parade. And then she sent me one with elephant parade. So cute. So, but the paper. Ooh, our DSP is so cool. All right, let me turn the camera around. Here we go. The, just the fact that everything matches. And I mean, DSP from two different sets. T Boutique and Rings of Love, totally different. But those colors and the, the patterns and stuff, I think, go well together. And I just used bits and pieces that I had left over on my desk. So I, that's what I love to do. So... Thank you for joining me. I think I'm going to call my sister. We're going to do a little swimming this afternoon. We were in there yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before. Yesterday, my grandkids were here swimming. So thank you for joining me. I will be back um, tomorrow for Winging It on Wednesday. Not sure what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> it's way too early to know what I'm doing tomorrow. So y'all take care. Have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.